tractor. Tractor makes it easy. 1963 Massey. <laughs> We're in, boys! <laughs> good Spanish, too. Yeah. Yeah. Good start. Thanks, Skip. It is uh, red. First fish in the boat is a red emperor. Straight off the back of that. You wouldn't have him too far away, would you? Too far away. That's in the bottom now. Look at him stack. Here he comes. Looks like a snappy or a pearly. Pearly. Big. Oh, oh good snapper. Yeah, what? Nice. Nah, it's not. Rosie. Jobby. Nice. They're, he, they're all chasing that bait down there. Yeah. All right. There you go. Nice rosy. Out of 120 fish. meters. Well done, man. That's awesome. I'm gonna start putting a few of these in the box now. They're on here. Triple. Double. 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 Nearly had a triple, but someone lost it. Oh, this would be a good pearl, I reckon. 121 meters. I'm just rigging up the electric going on in this. This is getting heavy. For a sec. There we go. Nice. You get a little bit of a tangle, but a nice pearl. Yeah. Look at that. I might still have a fish on that. Oh yeah, there you go. Getting into some good pearlies now. Greggy's almost got his fish to the boat. Like you said, chicken of the sea, eh, hey, Nato? That's it. Best eating. What do you got? Oh! You get the jobbies, we'll get the pearlies, mate. Hard. Sorry to pause the video guys, but I want to tell you that we've still got stock of our new outer line dual element water shoes, although sizes are selling out fast. These things have been ridiculously popular, so get on them quick. We've also restocked all our wet weather gear, all our men's, women's and kids clothes, including our stonewash range. And now the hats that we've been asked so many questions about are now available online. Our brand new Bound to the Blue Outer Line Country Truckers. If you want to purchase any of this gear, guys, head over to outerline.com.au. Thanks for the support. This is, looks all right. We got color. Very good, you like the gear. There you go. Oh, two big pearlies. No, two rosies. Hello! That'll do. <laughs> uh, the bottom one is... grab, the, grab, the second, grab the second rope, yep, and then just pull them both over. <laughs> okay, ready? Go. Oh. Yeah, boys! Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> good. Well, that's an easy way to do it, eh? Yeah. Feel good. There we go. Yeah. Two good rosies. Look at that. Pigeon pair. <laughs> yeah. Very good rosy man. Oh, well there yep. goes one. We'll take that. Yep. Chuck them in with the pearlies, eh? And the pearlies. other rosies. How much filleting do we want to do, boys? <laughs> Me and Greggy are still hand winding. <laughs> it's like go, yeah. 34 degrees and 100% humidity. How's the show of fish up on the sounder? Mm. Have a look at this. He's oh. getting owned at the moment. We've got five bucks on the fish. That's good. Oh. Oh. Hey, look at those biceps. <laughs> hey? They're going backwards. You're getting owned at the moment, man. How big was that jig? 200 gram. Yeah, right. 200 gram. Get him up. I've got a bait down there that's not getting touched. It's just a sea grinner. I've got nothing. Oh no! What'd you do, that Kyle? That was a big fish. That was a big fish. Bugger. Did you lose your jig? Or... No, I got the jig. We're under another fish here, but we've got a bit of a tangaluma. Looks like you're under. Something's not good. <laughs> keep winding that fish. Like, if you both keep winding. There you go. Multitasking here. Yeah. How 
we just lost a good fish to a couple of tangles, which is a bummer, but that's what you get when you fish four in a heap of current. We're flying. And in about 10 minutes of drifting, we're doing about, we've done about 1.3 kilometers. So, but we can drift with it. Like uh, the line and the boat are drifting at the same speed. So it's easily fishable, but literally in 10 minutes, we're drifting about 1.3 kilometers. So it's hectic current. You guys won't be able to see it, but heaps of fish just down probably 10, 15 meters. Oh, there, heap, there we go, heap of bait around here. Oh yeah, we've got a bit of a dilemma now. We've we've got a good box of fish. It's almost what's it, what's the time, mate? 12. 12, 12 30. So it's middle of the day, slow bite now, and we've got a massive, massive current. So we did one drop and we drifted 1.1 kilometers. We're doing an average drift speed of 6.5 kilometers an hour. It's crazy, like it's getting harder and harder. So we don't know whether to go in shallow, but usually through the day as day goes on you move deep and as the arvo comes you come back in shallow but the closest mark we've got 20 k's out so we're deliberating we're having a stop work meeting mm. and we're going to see if we go 20 k's out and deep drop in 260 meters or we go in shallow and try and battle it out through a slow bite if we go out that far and the current's cranking like this it's going to be nearly impossible smiles get the smiles well i think we made our decision then have we how long do you give the big fella? <laughs> it's boiling today. You're gonna need a lot more lead than that, my friend. How many did we just have on them to try and get to the bottom in 109? Three snapper leads. We had three, yeah. And so someone's not pulled. Fine. We won't be using this out in bloody 300 meters. No, definitely not. Righto, we're out in 247 meters of water. Just here. We had a very good show of fish just before. So <laughs> we've upgraded the lead to what, 32 mil booker? Yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. And we're just doing a couple of half hitches. Tape up all the shape, sharp parts. <laughs> Hope it works, eh? So we had three taped together. I hate to see what the current was like that day. Yeah. We had to use three of these big fellas taped together, but we've got a spare down there, so. Definitely works, and it's a lot cheaper than sinkers. Hell yeah, 100%. Could we get a flamey? I'm hoping for a flamey or a barcod. Not quite yeah, deep yeah. enough for blue eye or anything like that, so. Oh, duct tape. The old duct tape, eh? Big fella's still having a nice little snooze there. First night fever got hold of him. He did, he did well, he did well. Have you told everyone how hot it is today? It's warm. Wow, it's, it's warm. bloody warm. It's 34 degrees today. You can't have today. it all Adam. I know. If, <laughs> No, no wind equals hot, it equals nice boating. What would you rather? Would you rather a breeze, nice and cool, but you couldn't hold bottom, or would you rather stinking hot glass out and you can catch fish? We're all, nice out. We're all going the stinking hot. I know, we are. It's bloody humid, and we all slept like shit last night. No, one's, yeah. no one had a good night's sleep. <laughs> Everyone was awake from about midnight onwards. So anyway, this is what you do, you battle on, and then tonight, hopefully you, you all just pass out and uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> After we fill it all the fish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, we're doing well. This is half full now, so we've put together, for tough conditions, we've put together a good esky, eh? Yeah, three knots of current. Anyway. Everyone's saying hasn't been fishing well up here lately, but... It's fishing all right. All right. Yeah. Righto, how do you go through that in 232 metres and not get a bite? The current's fishable out here, for sure. I'm sure there's something that's going to eat. And the boys are on! Yes! Woo! Good electric reel hold. <laughs> and the big fella is awoken! <laughs> oh, the oat morale's suddenly up. 200 metres. Do you want a beer? No. What, yeah? That's a fish, mate. Oh, oh yeah. he's on. A bit of stalling. Oh, don't crank it, full boil on. Oh, it's a squire, snapper. What? 200 and what? 250? All right, 230 meter swim. Let's watch out for sharks, mate. <laughs> Shark! <laughs> Hold on to the ladder and just go under a bit. 
Yeah, it's wow. crazy, eh? Yeah, the boys. Doubles. Been a bit of a slog. We've had a couple of big snags, lost a lot of line, lost a lot of uh, a lot of this. <laughs> Started our own, our own artificial reef down there, but we're plucking away. We've got a good box of fish now. How many do you want to fill it? That's all right. I'm hungry. <laughs> you better be. Anyway, we've got a while to come up. How far are you? 20. 20? Oh, we'll just run this. Just roll the footage. I'm tipping a snap. Yeah. What are you tipping? I'm tipping snaps too. Tipping a snappy too. Oh, one, one, one. Oh, here it is. It looks flamey. Uh, flamey. We're very red. It's a flaming. Woo! That's what we wanted! Yeah, yeah, the Rio Rio. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. That's what we want. Right. That ain't a snap. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cracker. <laughs> hey, Ray! I've still got a while to go, but mine's small. Cool, man. Oh. That's worth another drift. It is. Oh, yeah. Yes, mate. Lovely. How good's that? That's the first flamey I've seen come in the boat in real life. And it's a perler. Beautiful fish. They are unreal eating apparently. And they're not easy to find. So, plenty of them at Fraser. Yeah, two flamies. I even got mine. <laughs> oh, mine's a bit... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's still hey. a flamey, mate. <laughs> Any flamey's a good flamey. I don't even know what legal size these have to be, but I don't think that's it. Sweet home. A few more people now than earlier. Greggy's gonna jump in and reverse the Massey down. That'll do, bros. Bit of prop chop. <laughs> what percentage are you now? Oh, 40. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah, oh no, oh, that sucks. Squiddo. me drive the uh, tractor. Apparently that's the accelerator. That's the clutch. Well, Somewhere in there is the gears. <laughs> You'll be farmer soon. Mate, I'll be bogged soon. <laughs> but I'd been forgotten, I'd go. I'd been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Breaking! <laughs> Tell you what, I was a happy bloody man driving this tractor up the beach. Sun setting, waves crashing, far out. Gears were a little bit sticky, but she ran like a clock.
Now, only if Nissan patrols went over the soft sand this easily. <laughs> Here you see the new cattle grid and a massive big fence that fences off the whole area of Orchid Beach design to keep the dingoes out. Because usually the boys have the dingoes walking through the shed looking for food while they're trying to sleep. That was awesome. <laughs> that was better than fishing. Tell you what, that was good fun. Alright, boat cleaning, fish billeting time. We didn't do too much last night. We were four cooked chooks, that's for sure. But I slept from when my head hit the pillow to when I woke up, which was good. Alright, Greggy's got all the fish out. Nate chucked all the fish on his shoulder at one time. Carried him over here. Here we go. A couple of Spaniolis. Nice big rosies, pearlies, flamies. We did alright. That's about as many as you want to fill it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Especially after a couple of big days here. Building on the table where I don't have to lean over for once. <laughs> and that's not often being my height. I reckon for three quarters of a day's fishing we done pretty good, NATO. There we go. Look at that. One, two, three, four big full bags of uh, nice fillets. Got some flame tail there. I'm gonna I've never tried it before, so we've got a couple of Spanish frames. Contemplating whether to stay another night and how to explain that to the girls. <laughs> Kale's a bit under the thumb, so... <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we're going to maybe go out and have a quick look at Nagala Rocks because we, um, we can't leave, we don't have to leave till about 11, so we've got a little while up our sleeve, so go and do that. Sorry, says, in advance, <laughs> for going and doing Nagala Rocks without you. <laughs> but I can't knock it back. <laughs> we'll stand in the tractor before Breggy. Alright, we're all packed up, ready to go. Just waiting on Greggy, he's measuring up a job while he's up here, but um... This fella's nice enough to take me up to Nagala Rocks. Never, never been there before, we come up two years ago with the kids, and um, it was closed, so we couldn't do it. So, today, we're gonna... Haven't lived, the, haven't lived. We're gonna fit the big Chevy through Nagala, apparently. Yes. This will be interesting. Are you taking this through there yet? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a few scratches on the rims, but <laughs> just squeeze this through. Happy days. Show all those Y62 owners how to do it, eh? <laughs> Nagala Rocks, Fraser Island. Pretty much the gateway to the Great Sandy Strait. It's the last little obstacle that you have to get to to get to the very northern tip of Fraser Island. Now, you've all seen Nagala Rocks done 10 million times, but have you seen a 2500 Chevy try to squeeze through? Do you own a big 2500, be prepared for your car to fit through by about 20 mil in some spots. And I'm not joking, it's that tight. But we got through unscathed. Now to tackle a 500 metre soft sand run uphill straight after it. Yeah. Just when you get up the track a bit, there's trees and shit. Yeah. Oh mate, hooking it on his leg. How's this for a rooster? <laughs> Sending.
Well, that was fun. I didn't really get to enjoy that much because I was flying the drone, but I was watching what I could anyway. I've got to go back through. I'm not putting the drone up for that. I'm going to enjoy my little trip through Nagala Rocks on the way back. But first, the boys are on. Piece of cake. Now it was time to drag this eight metre weapon all the way back home. About a hundred kilometres of soft sand, bush and tight tracks, although a vast majority of it is the hard sand on the beach. You're looking at about 20 k's of this stuff just here. Now over here to the left you'll see the Champagne Rock Pools. Beautiful little spot to have a dip. Waves crash over the rocks and have a bit of fun letting them hit you on the head as they pass over. Now this area here coming up to Indian Head is some of the softer sand that you'll encounter on your drive. The rest of it, pretty much a piece of cake. Wide tracks, high trees and good fun driving. Although I would recommend that you did have another vehicle if you had a heavy boat and a smaller four-wheel drive that's towing it. Big Chev had no problems at all. These things are an absolute weapon through the sand. Question on everyone's lips right now is, is Kale gonna get bogged at Inskip? With this thing on it. Chevys don't get bogged. <laughs> Send me. <laughs> Told ya, Chevys don't get bogged. Did they? Oh, we came close. <laughs> <laughs> we won't show that footage. We come off the barge, straight down. We reversed up, got two tyres back on the barge. Literally, I thought we were going to go down and he just fed it and we were off. So, it was close. Well, that's it. Great Thanks for the trip, boys. Thanks, mate. Yo. So a massive thank you to our legendary Patreons. You guys are bloody awesome. We appreciate the support more than you know. If you'd like to become a Patreon, head over to patreon.com forward slash Adeline Adventures. And we'd like to say a massive thank you to our sponsors. Your support and friendship means the absolute world to us. Cheers, guys.